Hi, I'm Nathan Scott, and welcome to Changemakers. An initiative from Australian Wool Innovation, bringing you the best research from around the country. We all want to be better sheep producers, but the only way we can be better is to change. If we keep doing things the same way we've always done them, we'll keep getting the same results we've always got. That's why we're here, Changemakers. We are all guilty of it, but checking your rams at 60 kilometres an hour as you drive up the driveway isn't a great strategy for ensuring an optimum joining result. The humble old ram often only gets his moment in the sun on the day when he's purchased. Have you ever stopped to think about just how important your rams are to your breeding system? Without your rams, you don't have a breeding system. So perhaps it's about time we paid more attention to them throughout the year rather than just waiting until the point of joining. So what should we be doing? We should be inspecting all rams 12 weeks prior to joining to make sure that everyone is fit and healthy. By conducting a ram inspection 12 weeks out from joining, you can ensure that you have given yourself the time to influence how prepared your rams are for a successful result. The physical inspection needs to cover the four T's, teeth, toes, tackle, and testes. Getting hands on is essential for ram checks. First of all, teeth. Has he got any? Are they sound? And how old is he? With every year we own a ram, we increase the likelihood that he has an injury or health issue, some of which you can't see. Secondly, toes. Can he walk properly? Is there any obvious pain in his gait? Are they overgrown or deformed? Cracked? Is there separation of the wall and the sole or pink colour of interdigital skin? Or swellings that may indicate a toe or foot abscess? And is he structurally sound as he was the day you bought him? Particularly with more ram lambs being sold today, often it isn't until the last 30 kilograms is added to his frame that you really get to see his true structural form. And thirdly, it's the tackle. In other words, the pizzle or the penis. To start, sit the ram on his hindquarters. From there, the penis can be gently averted from the prepuce and examined. It is important to check that there is no swelling or scarring of the penis and that the urethral process is intact. Also check the prepuce for swelling or discharge that may indicate infection or trauma. And finally, we move on to the testes. Now I like you to be able to visualise what you're feeling for, and so for this, I need a prop. What we're looking for are testes the size of two aluminium cans. You want to start your way at the top and work your way down the tubes until you get to the head of the epididymis. That's about the same size as half a golf ball. Then work your way down the testes, feeling for any differences in size or lumps or bumps until you get to the tail of the epididymis, again about the size of half a golf ball. And this whole time we're feeling for firmness. We don't want them too hard and we don't want them too soft. So it's about the same as your half tensed bicep. Now if you're not confident in doing the ram inspections yourself, then absolutely pay a vet to come and do it for you. Rams are too expensive for you to kick a ram out incorrectly. At the same time, it can be incredibly costly if we've got rams in our team that aren't going to work effectively. So you've checked the four T's, but are the rams in good condition? Given that you are 12 weeks out from joining, you will be able to measure their condition score and be able to manage them to the recommended target of condition score three and a half, six weeks prior to joining and at the point of joining. Rams with condition scores above and below this target are less productive. In these last six weeks, your ram should not have any interruptions or potentially stressful events to ensure that the sperm development cycle is effective. Some tips include making sure that you shear your rams at least six weeks prior to joining, as it can be potentially stressful and impact the ram's condition and sperm production. Likewise, it is best practice to deliver your rams to the joining paddocks rather than making them walk long distances. Now you've checked that your ram team are all fit and healthy, but have you got enough of them? The industry has long worked off some rules of thumb when it comes to RAM percentages, with 1% plus 1 being the most widely adopted. But what we know is that one rule doesn't always fit all situations. For instance, if your ewes are in great condition, nutritionally travelling very well, and you have used teasers or applied the RAM effect prior to joining, then you will have a very large proportion of your ewes available to the RAM at the same time. And this can challenge the 1% plus 1 rule of thumb particularly if you are joining in big mobs, which dilutes that plus one even further. For maidens and new lambs, the equation becomes even more difficult as they are not available to the ram as long for each cycle, meaning that a higher percentage of rams is required for an optimum result. The paddock you choose to join in can also have an effect upon joining percentage. If your paddock is overly large or hilly or has multiple watering points, it might be worth considering increasing your joining percentage to ensure that there are enough rams to service the ewes. 
One size doesn't fit all when it comes to RAM percentages and your choice should be based upon past performance, your enterprise type, your goals and some independent advice. So rather than checking your RAMs at 60 kilometres an hour as you head up the driveway, let's give them the attention that they deserve. Let's check them thoroughly, feed them to perform and make sure that we've got enough of them so that our ewes can express their real potential. After all, even if you're getting really good joining percentages, we know that whatever we do well today, we can do better tomorrow.